Oh, we've got a special presenter for you. Um, the last one is the uh, Charlie Cologne Award, uh, our team MVP. So the uh, we'll love Charlie and Mark and Fox.
and it's, it's been crazy. It's been ups and downs and ins and outs. And in 2019, we had a deranged gentleman drive his truck in front of my building. And whether or not it was an undergraduate or my undergraduate degree or my MBA or just starting on my doctorate, I couldn't quite figure out how that happened to us. And I'll be honest with you there for a quick second, on October 8th, he got to meet my dad's 80th birthday. I'm gonna walk away from this thing. And as I was standing with my dad out in front of Chick-fil-A, as they were trying to pull his van or the pickup truck out of my building, and the guy's car is still in the corner of my parking lot, the officer shot and killed him. And my dad looked at me and he said, are you okay? And I said, just curveball after curveball, Dad. And he put his hand around my neck and he goes, I'll tell you what, son, you can hit curveballs. He said, I know you like to light up fastballs, but once you light up a curveball, you do this thing. Go to your neck a little bit and let's get out. Give me a big hug and we go from two days later. My point being, you guys, is that baseball has taught me so many lessons. And the one thing it's going to continue to teach me is that I'm going to bet on me. And so four years ago when I started coaching at Lincoln Christian, we had just come off an 0 and 22 season. It was the first time that we'd ever had the program. We were terrible. And the guy that's the head coach is the guy that I coached in Nebraska Weston. And he said, I just need your help from that. You don't need my help. You need guys that actually believe. You don't need my help. Often teach you how to catch. I blew by the way, Coach Joe, but I'm going to walk the next day, but they'll get better. <laughs> And so, at the end of the day, I said, I'm ready, let's go. And for the first time this year, we're 14 and four, rated number two in the number three seed, Randall State Tournament. And I'm gonna be honest with you. It has nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with Coach Bingham, my son coaches as well. But I got 16 dudes that actually believe they can win with them. And so three weeks ago, when we stopped Lincoln Northwest, they believed. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, we might show up on Saturday and get the kid. We might go, oh, we'll do and come right back home, but we got there and we set the high bar a little higher. So the opportunity for me to come tonight is not to tell you how good I was, how bad I was, because I can tell you, I used to have two records here a long time ago, and those are long gone. But you guys are probably a lot better players than I ever was. This is probably the truth. But I will tell you that the reason I love this school started with my dad, and what we grinded in the state championship. And in 1986, we finished third. We got beat 3 2 by Ralston, gave up 200 runs. And we got beat 3 2. It was a team that made it to the state championship, got 10 runs by Ralston, and we had just 10 runs on two weeks ago. And then my brother in 1990 played the longest state championship game in the history of Northeast. 15 innings, and got beat 2 to 1. And my brother got the only hit that game in the middle of the night. My dad sat in the stands crying because he wanted Vic to win the state championship. So it means a lot. This school means a lot. I spent many hours here. But what you got to know this, you guys, I'm cheering for you. And so I'll leave you with two things. Number one, I'm just glad you're here. I get to spend a bunch of time with Husker baseball players every single week. I spent it yesterday morning. I'll be there tomorrow morning. I'll be there on Thursday morning and Friday morning. And the world is different. The NIL portal, the transfer portal, I'm just glad you guys are here. You showed up when you got out of this year. I'm sure you had some guys transfer. The way it works these days, you might have things too hard. There's a different opportunity to just want to transfer and run. You didn't do that. And if you do, so be it. That's not your life's going to work. You can't get a better job most of the time. The second thing is, I hope we're here today. We can tell you a great job and make you work. And I guarantee you, you're somewhere. But just one of the sweetest guys I've ever known in my entire life. I literally love the game of baseball in the world. And so, Two things. Number one, Coach I've brought you 15 chips to play gift cards to give you these long breaks and get some cheap stuff. Yeah.
excited when you're going to do something for baseball. And so I've been around a long time, hoping to talk to your coach and have some stud catch your here back today and have the opportunity to work with them too. But you are in good hands. Play against your pops, right? You're in good hands. And I'm so happy when you guys to be So I will stop pontificating and all the glory to you the stories. Simply just to tell you congratulations. I'm sure it's for you. And I'd love to get to see you guys in this course. But I hope, I hope that the game of baseball teaches you all the lessons you need for your long, long life. And there's going to come a time when your odds are going to be 80 or 85,000. And I hope you choose to bet on yourself. So we set this thing up. Wow. I had hair back in the day. So, so this 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 player I actually know. And he's a really quality kid. And I'm just honored to have him on the show. Jordan Levin, congratulations.